So hello, this is just a quick video I decided to make showing an improvement I've made to this little 3D printed air raid siren. So as I mentioned in the previous video, the siren has a habit of winding up and down way too quickly to be anything like the original. It was winding up nearly instantly and slowing down too fast as well. So what I said was the rotors are indeed plastic. They should be cast aluminium or something like that. And ideally in the future, I'd like to try casting them out of aluminium. But that might take a little while off to get the, you know, learn the technique to do that. But what I did originally was, so my original ones, I filled the edges with steel, stainless steel ball bearings to try to get them a little bit heavier. This helped a tiny bit, but they're still way too light and the motor just spins them up almost instantly. So I had to think of something else. So what I've done is I redesigned at the bottom of the rotor. I basically pocketed this section out, got rid of all these little holes. And if I get this one here and turn it upside down, you'll see I have a large, I think this is an M20 washer in here. It's, I think it's, it's about 54, 55 millimeters in diameter and one and a half millimeters thick. So, and there's actually, if you can see this rotor is slightly, has a slightly thicker base here. There's actually two of these stacked in here and there's another two in the rotor on this side as well. So we have four of these large washers and these make the rotors a good bit heavier. Like they're, they're, they're a good bit heavier than these ones. I haven't got the exact measurements, but they're, they're quite a bit heavier. And this offers a noticeable improvement in wind up time. It's a good bit slower and winding down takes much longer as well. So it's much more authentic. So uh, I'll put this together and then we'll give it a test. Right, okay. So I have the little siren back together now. Just have the screw the rotor back on and put its little end caps back on. So we'll, uh, we'll give it a test now and I'll just show you the improvements that I found with these heavier rotors. So here we go. So yeah, I think it's it's much better now than it was anyway. It's still a little bit fast, but it's it's not too bad. Cast aluminium rotors or even cast iron, although I don't know how easy that's going to be. I'll have to look into that, but they would be ideal. But it's pretty good for now. I I uh, might try and make a bigger one of these sirens in the future, maybe. I've found that I might be able to make a double-ended motor out of a 56-frame induction motor, but I'll have to look more into that. It might involve some machining. On a, on, a, on, a, on a lathe to get the shaft to fit but it might be a possibility so i will there's probably there's still a good few improvements to be made to this model so i'll keep posting videos as i make them but uh that's basically it and i just will mention again as i did in the last video this product does involve high voltages this is 240 volts ac or 220 volts 50 hertz so if you do do anything like this do it at your own risk be careful because it can be extremely dangerous high this this kind of voltage can do serious damage it can kill you so just be careful okay but anyway, thanks very much for watching. Give a like there if you want and subscribe even better. And if you want, as I said, if you want a video explaining how it's how it goes together and what kind of motor I use, just let me know in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.